Everyone has a story. For most Americans, that story started somewhere else with their ancestors in another country. Today, there is a great interest in exploring those roots and making connections to one's ancestry. For Tartan Day, we are helping three people explore their Scottish heritage, while at the same time showcasing modern Scotland and all that the country has to offer people to visit, work and study. Join us as we share their Scot stories. Genealogy or family history is really popular in Scotland. It's not just about births, deaths, marriages, etc. Go to the place where your ancestors once lived. Walk in the footsteps of your ancestors. Following that then, what you can do is start building up your family tree. And for Scottish ancestry, a great way of doing that is using Scotland's people. We have an internet website which is worldwide, available 24-7, and you can look up all the key Scottish family history resources such as births, marriages, deaths and census. If you're in, over to Scotland for a holiday, you can also come here to the centre in Edinburgh where you can do the same and look up lots of different records. And that sets you on the road to doing your family tree. My name is Jo Ann Stugard. I'm actually from Okinawa, Japan. My great-grandma is from Clan Maxwell. I'm very proud of that. My dad moved back to Scotland in 1972. It was sort of like I got a whole new family. I go a couple times a year and I'm always wearing my Maxwell tartan and pins and I'm, re I'm really proud of it. Usually I'm at my dad's house. He lives in a little village called Bridge of Weir. We drink beer, eat lots of haggis and uh, just hang out. So this time it's gonna be more about exploring. They have some really amazing food. One of my favorite chefs, Tom Kitchen, he's French trained, so he uses all his techniques to make the most beautiful Scottish seafood. And I try to get to one of his restaurants every time I visit. So just this December, my husband Peter and I celebrated 20 years of being married, so what did we do? We went to Scotland. It was really fun because we did Hogmanay, which is Scotland's three-day New Year's Eve celebration. Lots of parties, lots of drinking, lots of great music, lots of good food, and it was just a really fun experience. When I was a freshman in college, my roommate's father was from Scotland, and I remember he, he had these huge posters in our crappy little dorm room of this beautiful meadow landscape. Every day I had to look at this poster and say, I'm probably never going to see that place in real life. And when this opportunity came my way, I kind of went mad for a little bit because I was like, this can't be true. One thing that I hope to achieve while in Scotland is to discover something new. And I feel like if there's a place you're gonna do that, it's probably Scotland. I'm excited to share Scotland with my viewers and hopefully influence them to go there and see all the beauty. My name is Lindsay Hughes and this is going to be my first time taking a voyage to Scotland. Probably the thing I'm most excited to discover on my first trip to Scotland is where my ancestors are from because I currently do not know that. I'm also excited to discover some Scottish food and Scottish drinks and some cool Scottish people. So my personal Scott story is just beginning. We hope you will follow Joe, Lindsay and Mark as they embark on their Scott stories and explore today's Scotland. We invite you to do the same, whether you have Scottish ancestry or just a love of Scotland.